So my name is Iksha, and I just graduated from Southbrook Secondary School in Surrey. And I am a first year undergraduate student in the Faculty of Science. So since I'm in first year, I haven't really decided on exactly what major I want to do yet. I have yet to declare it, but I'm really interested in either biology or integrated sciences, which is something that really excites me because I can just sort of meld all my interests together in one degree. So I get to work with my mentor, Melissa Page, and other students like me who are really interested in insulin, and her lab explores insulin resistance and its correlation with type 2 diabetes. So we're sort of in the process of coming up with a research question related to that and I'm just really excited to learn more about the subject and do some more research and figure out how insulin resistance is correlated to type 2 diabetes. Yeah, so I think, I guess, the biggest challenge that I think all university students can relate to is time management. In high school, I was involved in a lot of extracurricular activities and I felt like I had a lot more time and I could balance my studies as well, but the workload was definitely increased. So it's been kind of hard for me to like meet new friends and like um, get fun, figure out how I can get involved. So I'm super excited to start with this program in the next term and get to know some more people. So something I think I'd like to get more into, I've sort of experimented with it a bit, but photography is something that I find super cool, especially Photoshop and playing with pictures and um, changing the color saturation and things like that. I think you can have a lot of fun with that, so that's something that I'm definitely really interested in. And I love music. I wish I played an instrument. I used to play the flute, but I didn't really follow through with that. So I think if someone could find a way to like incorporate music into their project in relation to science, I think that would be amazing and I'd be super inspired by that. I think um, throughout high school I was really passionate about visual arts, so that's definitely one of the main art forms that I like to engage in. But another one that I consider an art form at least is DIY projects. <laughs> that's definitely something that I always have constant lists of like different projects I want to do. And I just like, if I go to a store or something, I find a really cute like calendar. Or like the other day I saw a corkboard map at Anthropology and it was like $50. And I was like, I bet I can make that. So I just grabbed a bunch of my friends and we took exacto knives and just like, cut out a world map. And it's in my room now. It's a great way to like spruce up your room. So that's sort of the way that I my creative outlet for now. Going back to the research that I'm doing right now um, related to insulin, um, it was super exciting to learn that there is a correlation between insulin production in the brain and Alzheimer's. So I think I'm just really interested to see if um, drugs can help monitor like insulin levels in the brain and that could potentially like, reduce Alzheimer's, which is definitely a prevalent, um, a prevalent disease that affects many people today. that architecture is like a form of science and art colliding. Um, yeah, I think definitely architecture is something that inspires me. Um, combining definitely two different areas, like design, which is a form of art, of course, like you want to make the building like really thrilling and awesome, and um, in terms of science, like I think the uh, math that goes into it for sure, like design, or figuring out how the building up. Um, I wish I knew more about it, but yeah, like I, I saw the pharmaceutical building the other day and that was super cool. Um, and the amount of work that must have gone into 